Hi, this is Scoggett, and this is part two of my a classic sub sandwich on the grill uh, video. And I've uh, got got the sandwich out here, and I'm uh, laid it on the grill. Uh, and I'll go ahead and go from there, and I'll show you what we're going to do here. What I've done, uh, I've laid this on like a sheet of uh, tin foil, and what I'm going to do is just uh, I build a fire on this side. This side here is a hot side, and then I have a, a, a cool side over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and shut the lid to this, and I'm just going to let uh, let this cook until until the uh, cheese melts. What you want to do is just let this uh, sandwich cook until the cheese melts, and when the cheese is melted, then you can take it take it off and bring it inside. And that's what what I'm uh, going to do now. Just let the cheese melt, and it's also going to heat up the meat, and it's going to toast up that bread. You don't want it the bread to get hard as a rock. You want a little uh, want it toasted, but not where it's like like a a, a piece of toast, in other words. And we're going to let this uh, sit over here, and I'm going to keep an eye on it, and uh, just see see whenever it's ready, whenever the cheese is melting. The temperature's going up, and and on the temperature, it really don't matter on the temperature if you have it at 500 degrees. It's going to take a matter of seconds. This one's going up; it's going to be probably around 300. So it might take a. a few minutes for it to cheese to melt and uh, the bread to toast up a little bit and like I was saying in, in the first video anything you want to put on this sandwich is up to you uh, I, I just put this together uh, because of the stuff what I had on hand in the fridge uh, today and uh, that's that's what I, I put put it together and I thought I had some bell peppers I thought I had some bell peppers in the fridge and found out I didn't because bell peppers would have went on there also and also black olives I don't have any of them and uh, it just I, I just kind of put this together uh, with the stuff what I had on hand and uh, if, if you just have say you just have a turkey and and that's all you have then you can go ahead and and do it that way uh, it will come out fine if you just have turkey and cheese and uh, bread you can do do it like that. Now you don't have to buy like the French bread like I I used. Uh, that's just what I had on hand, and that's what I'm making the sandwich out of. You can buy these. Uh, I guess they're called hoagie rolls. I saw them at the uh, up to the Walmart, and I saw them over there. And uh, you can use those. Those are little little six inch, eight inch, whatever. And they're kind of like a hot dog bun. You can you can make one if you have a bunch of people over. And everybody can make their own. Uh, you can have a sub party at your house. Uh, that might be something I might be considering here. Uh, let me check and see how this is doing. It's starting to melt up a little bit, and uh, so so we're doing good, and the temperature's going up. So uh, we'll be all right there. And uh, like I say, when it comes to a veggie, you can put anything you want. Really anything you want to do to this sandwich is up to you uh, I've even uh, at one time I put butter on it I mean butter works good I was out of olive oil olive oil I like the taste of it on the sandwich it just kind of brings something out and uh, it just it uh, I like the taste of the olive oil on my sandwiches and uh, on dressings uh, you don't have to put mustard or mayonnaise you can put like if you want salad dressing, you can put that on there. Uh, ranch, uh, you can put uh, vinegar on oil. It's just it's up to you. Uh, this is just I'm showing you uh, how how I make this, and then you can go from there and put your own combination. You can use your own bread. You can use wheat, rye. It, it don't matter. It's all according to how what you want. Let's go ahead and check and see how our sample is doing here. Oh yes, yeah, it's, it's getting there. Might take a few minutes. I just want to say that I really, really appreciate you guys watching the video, and uh, hope hope you enjoy the videos what I make. 
I enjoy making them for you and uh, uh, maybe teaching someone how to uh, make something they didn't know how to make. And uh, I, I kind of searched around on YouTube and there's not very many videos on, on a sandwich on the grill. And that's what I've, I've been making these for a, for a while on the grill. And I, I've even bought, like I said, the little hoagie rolls and I put them on there and been heating them up and, and melting stuff and it comes out, oh, uh, the taste of it, uh, if you never had one on the grill, it tastes like it's been made like in a brick oven or something. It just, the taste is fantastic. And it might take a little, little few minutes here for this to get ready here. Let me see how we're doing. Yeah, our cheese are melting up. And once the cheese is melted, like I say, it's ready to roll. And uh, bring it back in the kitchen there, and uh, I'll show you the third third part. And I'll explain in the third part on how you can really screw this up. And uh, it's something what you don't don't want to do is screw up a, a sandwich. And uh, I'm, uh, this thing's just about ready. I'll go ahead and give you a peek at it. As you can see, the cheese is mel melting on it. I'm going to leave this in here for uh, just a few more minutes. Then when the cheese is melted, and uh, I'm going to bring it inside and have the third video. So I appreciate you watching the videos. And uh, leave a comment whether you like the video whether you don't. And I'll have the third video coming up, and y'all take care.